These just passenger? No, okay. Also doing this at the wrong end of the track. Okay. Let's just leave that for now. That's interesting. Track does not match the bridge. You still have the bridge replacement GRF, I think. There we go. Looks a little better. Okay, we do not have enough money for two tracks. <laughs> I see someone said <laughs> someone
Moon messaged me. chat working because I don't see anyone. I don't know. Oh, hello, Tauntless. I'm glad that it works. This is my first time ever streaming. I forget to refit this. Damn it. <laughs> Bubbles. Yeah, there we go. Probably check how much they're producing before I add trains, but people is pretty good, honestly. This train's filling up pretty quickly. It's not actually enough space to get two tracks across without terraforming a lot. To go over here. Yeah, this is the open TTD soundtrack. It's full of bangers. Station platform starts on that. Okay.
So I guess the nuts trains that I'm using are really cheap, so it makes it kind of easy to get started in a game. Yeah, I, I haven't been playing with the music, but I guess for streaming, it's kind of nice since it's all like unlicensed music or freely usable music. two trains together now okay good bothers me when the signals don't line up on either end of the tracks, either side. <laughs> okay, let's just redo all those. Alright. Let's keep cargo loading at every station, except I'm out of money. Alright. Oh, 23 viewers. This is my my estimate was 20 people. Can't actually see who's on. I guess some people aren't logged in, so you can't see their account. Maybe it's private or something. Hopefully, these trains are actually making money. Forty cubic meters of cola. Yeah, a little bit. Now we can afford one more train. Fizzy drinks to somewhere. Any of these cities actually big enough? Yes. Not sure what the conditions are. But Hentberg does accept fizzy drinks, so start to that. Bridges are so cheap. It's weird. I don't feel like they should be that cheap. Ba, 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 ba. 
Such bangers. <laughs> Does Toyland just replace regular industries with cartoonish fancy ones? Yeah. Um, there's like toy factories and soda factories, fizzy drink factories, and plastic. Like, what are the three? The three, there's toys, candy, and fizzy drinks. So yeah. And normally the terrain does not look so gray, but the normal Toyland terrain is like bright green with lots of polka dots on it. So it's kind of painful to look at. So I'm using the bricks terrain replacement to not have to look at that. What's up, SMS cuff? Yeah, green is painful. <laughs> and I can, we can look at it for a second. You have the, uh, this might crash the game. Yeah, this is what it uh, normally looks like. So, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the original Transportation Tycoon graphics are a lot nicer, I think, uh, for Toyland at least, since it's not quite as painful. But I think that's one of the reasons that no one plays Toyland, it's just hard to look at. Do like have like a snow covered toy land so it's like winter wonderland theme or something but I couldn't figure out how to do it so we just have like gray Mars toy land sounds on much. See the industry sounds? Ambience. Yeah, you can hear some bubbles. I don't know if I, my volume's up high enough. <laughs> I'll leave those on and see if it's annoying. <laughs> bubbles randomly. <laughs> These are interesting, the toffee quarries. Ew.
you know. I think with the train set I'm using with nuts, the nuts train set, it's probably, probably the sounds are changed. Actually, I don't know. Find out. I'm just gonna split these further back, maybe even further than this, since this is gonna be the pickup station and we need some waiting waiting base space. Might even go even further back. I think later we can build a overflow. Should save sometimes. Sure. Yeah, it's good to be back. Okay. get a bus route just in this town to make sure it will keep accepting cola. Should probably avoid having the buses get hit by the trains. Fit to, to the wrong thing, didn't I? We fit it to cola instead of fizzy drinks, because normally those are synonyms. But in this case, the cola is unfizzified. Okay. How are we doing on pickup? Use another train here. Just want to train at the station at all times. Low on money. We are making money. Fizzy drinks, right? Yeah. See that number go above zero, please. This is a 256 by 256 tile map. So it's pretty small. Okay, there we go. It is filling up. Looks like it's... Hmm, 68. I don't actually know the mechanics of how much gets converted into, uh, into fizzy drinks from the input cargoes. Because we can keep connecting up, connecting up stuff. Some cola here, cola here. 
Coca-Cola is going to use the oil facility station, by the way. That's what I decided. This is the um, nuts train set. So, yeah, this is V453. Thousands train set. We have a bunch of the trains are cheaper than normal, so it makes it easier to start. But there's a bunch of wacky, wacky trains. It's called the Nuts Unrealistic Train Set. To figure out how to connect this. Already becoming a mess over here. What am I looking at? This is weird. <laughs> it's hard to see where it, which bridges are connecting to where. There we go. Let's do left hand drive here. <laughs> Diagonal tunnels. Seems like it's not gonna happen. I mean, sort of the, I guess the thing is that the thing that makes the game interesting is its limitations. So like, you can't have signals on bridges, which is sort of a silly limitation to have. But it means you have to do things like doubling up bridges, which I mean, you know, some people might not like that. But I think it makes it, it makes it more interesting when you try to build hubs. How do you place signals all at once? You can control drag. So if there's signals here, click on the tile with a signal, drag in one direction while holding control and let go and it'll place it all along the track until the next uh, intersection, like next crossover or split and so on. All right, oh, we got a lot of fizzy drinks waiting. Get some more trains once we have money. Are the stations just a graphical thing? I guess, yeah. Um, I mean, the reason they look like this is a graphical thing. Um, they blend in with the background a little too much which is unfortunate, but this is the uh, ISR, Industrial Station Renewal train set, or uh, station set, and we also have a few other random ones, Japanese stations and the chip stations, but I don't usually use chips actually. I normally just go with ISR because they have these nice pre preset stations. Yeah, it would, it would be much easier to have um, signals on in tunnels and on bridges. Definitely adds some challenge. Okay, we are making money. It's just 
Right now our finances are a little bit tight. As we keep hooking up places. Here are two uh, good cola spots right next to each other. Are the Open TTD Coop games still going? Not right now, unfortunately. Um, I want to get them going again in 2021. It sort of died. We don't have anyone to. Like, we don't have the time to properly maintain the servers and keep them up to date. And also, like all the software we've used is just really old at this point. It's actually. So we have to update it, moving to Discord from IRC. So there's a lot of things to do there, but I am hopeful about that. Yeah, there are patches, uh, JGR. I've actually never tried, never tried JGR. Believe it or not, after playing for like six, seven, I don't know how many years it's been now. But I've just always played Coop style. And I haven't played much City Builder either. I've played a little bit, but I think it's a pretty interesting game mode, but just haven't had. I've always just gone with what I liked. Creature of habit. Okay, this is not the train I want to clone. Let's get one of these ones. Skip and make sure it is cola. I'll just clone some of those. Yeah, they were talking about uh, the co the coop games. People people also get a little annoyed when I say coop instead of co-op, but it's how I've always said it in my head. But yeah, um, like in the past, the co-op games have been like we sort of push the game a lot, so the devs like that for testing, and we always use the nightly version so we could find bugs and things, which was nice. But right now, since it's not going on, it's unfortunate. There's also two bubbles. Connect those up. Such a banger of the music, <laughs> even though I don't use it in the Let's Play. It can get old after a while. Tricky getting this to line up. opinion the open TTD music never gets old yeah I've been thinking of doing a coop style single player game just to see if I can create a system on that scale I'm missing your videos thanks yeah you should definitely go for it
refit this to bubbles. Okay. This is going to be a mess once we upgrade to actual like OpenTD Coop style with main lines. It's going to be a pain, but that's okay. Need 41. Should probably get some more soundtracks. Joplin sounds pretty good for open TTD. So I guess I said starting at 19, 1900, it's just, I guess it's a little slow for me. Oops, it's the wrong way. Like I guess with the uh, Let's Play series, it was a lot slower than I expected because we have to wait for new trains to come out a lot. I don't know what it is about the, this game, but it always brings me back. Can you recommend some mods that make the game more challenging? Yeah, I see Undead recommended ECS or Yeti, and I also agree with that. Um, ECS just adds a lot more complexity to the industries. Um, and Yeti also... Yeti also adds, I guess there aren't that many industries in Yeti, but it adds this mechanic where you have to make sure you balance your cargo among multiple destinations, which is tricky. Um, yeah. DVNT said, that's where I quit 90% of my g games. Oh shit, I have to upgrade, better start a new one instead, yeah. So I also, with the Nuts train set, it does give you these like universal rails, which you can use to upgrade. But also, I'm just starting at 2200, so I have all the trains already, and I just picked picked one that I thought looked nice. And also, we can use auto replace if we don't like this particular train. Yeah. Is transporting passengers frowned upon? That's what I always go for. It is not frowned upon. Um, it's perfectly fine. I just personally, I guess, Passengers are a little awkward because you sort of, you can sort of like take them wherever you feel like. Um, in that, you know, they can be taken to any city. And I guess, I guess you can do cargo dist and then you, they actually have a destination. But it's just a little, like cargo dist doesn't always work perfectly right. And yeah, I'm just used to industries. We do play some like passenger like self-regulating network games, which are fun, but it's sort of an esoteric way to play. And also, passengers are a little OP in terms of the money you get, which like doesn't really matter, like I'm already doing fine in terms of money and it's single player, so... But I guess with some of the nuts trains, they just can hold a ton of passengers, so I also have... I just have a like passenger mail payment control so actually passengers only make 30% of what they'd normally make because of this new GRF right now but I don't intend to transport passengers anyway right now just gonna do industries we are on toy land gotta use transport all the toys Okay. Why such short path platform slash trains? Um, actually, like normally three tiles or four tiles is sort of the um, standard for uh, open TTD coupe 
games. And it's a lot easier to build with shorter trains. Um, just because like waiting bays and stuff for hubs is easier. And the reason that I don't use super short trains on my Let's Play, for example, is that I'm worried that when I get too many trains, the game's gonna lag and I'm not gonna be able to record as easily anymore. So, I just use super long trains so we can have fewer of them. <clears throat> it is a lot of fun to do passenger-only games make every town in a city and just build huge passenger network with big city hub stations. I love it. Yeah, it's fun. Um, find passengers are only good with cargo disc. Yeah, I, I've actually also never played with cargo disc. Um, when I started playing cargo disc was just a patch. It wasn't actually in the vanilla game. So I've never played with it on. Yeah. Do all the trains in the nuts set have steam sound effects? No, these are actually just steam trains. One of the cool things about Nuts is that the idea of it is that like any of the trains, any of these trains in the end game should all be viable and they should all be usable in different situations. But honestly, like just sticking to like normal rail, steam and like electric trains is is probably one of the easier options. The uh, normal trains have good acceleration and makes it, uh, even though they're slow, it's sort of, they're just a good option. Alright, we can repair alone. Remember to save. I only have 50... 50 people according to YouTube. It's pretty, pretty crazy, honestly. Keep going. So they don't know any more friends who enjoy this kind of game. Yeah, it's a shame that more people aren't playing OpenTTD, but I guess it's part of my goal with the YouTube channel is to get more people playing and playing at like doing crazy stuff with the game also. Is this a cola train? Yes. Not that crazy, probably the best LP I've seen of this game, and with how infrequent the uploads are, I jump at the opportunity to see it live. Thanks, yeah. I appreciate it. It's really nice of you to say. They're really turned off by the graphics. I love the graphics of OpenTTD. I love the, like, I love isometric graphics. I don't know why anyone wouldn't. Also, like, like I guess similar games that I've played are, like, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, which is very similar, same Chris Sawyer game, but like SimCity 4 and City Simulator games I'm a big fan of. Those are slightly more advanced graphics, generally like SimCity 4, but so same sort of style. I always love when small YouTubers live stream because they actually know that their views exist. <laughs> yeah. It's cool being a small YouTuber because you actually get to interact with people directly, even in YouTube comments. People talk to you instead of about the video to each other. HQ being able to accept mail and passengers is a really fun tool at times. Yeah, it's an interesting mechanic that is in the game. Typically play on an arctic map and transfer wood to both ends of the map, then run wood, paper, and goods through the map to both sides. Eight tracks in and out. It's a lot of tracks. Yeah. 
point-to-point -point networks. You can just add more tracks really easily. It's fun. Yeah, there are some GFX that add more realistic graphics. Grew up with Age of Empires, Red Alert 2, and RCT2. I played a lot of Age of Empires also. I'm not sure what Red Alert 2 is though. Sounds interesting. Why the depot does not have the entrance from the side where the train come? Um, so I'm playing with breakdowns off, so there's not really a reason for trains to go the, to enter the depot. So I'm sort of having the depots be exit only. And the only reason I'd want them to enter the depot is if we auto replace trains. I like that you've chosen Toyland theme. It actually reminded me that other themes exist. There's jungle in Polar. Um, there's no jungle. There is an Arctic theme and a desert theme or tropic theme. Um, but for some reason, the tropic theme, the landscape, is always really flat. Haven't actually looked into why that is. <laughs> Yeah, thanks everyone uh, for the comments. Not sure. I have to get used to reading live chat at the same time as working on stuff. Red Alert 2 was an awesome RTS game. I see. So like... I guess... Um, Age of Empires style. <laughs> hey XD Bloxer. <laughs> Toyland theme looks so confusing. Yeah, we'll be happy that I'm not on the normal OpenGFX graphics. It'll look even <laughs> more confusing. For the wrong reasons. Yeah, has been a while. It's busy with classes and life. It's been a wild year, obviously. First RTS was Orcs and Humans. Red Alert, the original was the second. Cool. <laughs> oh no, not life. Yeah, I know. Life. <sighs> okay. In fact, the community is... Uh, wait. Are you playing with a Joker patch? No, I'm just playing vanilla with uh, some new GRFs. The fact that the community is still super active is awesome. Yeah. Dune, TTD, and Sim Towers, my childhood. Yeah, those are good games. Open oh, TTD community is often is awesome. Yeah. Why are you putting so many signals? Isn't one per exit enough? Yeah, like here, honestly, having that many signals is kind of silly. Like, you could signal it like this, and it'd be good. Um, it doesn't hurt though. <laughs> to have more. Find a bubble train. Need more here. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm playing at 720p with two size graphics. This one's a little short on screen space. <laughs> I love simulation games in general, I guess. I played The Sims Sims 2 also back in the day. It's not it's sort of a different style, I guess, in this game. These are more like management. I guess that's that's definitely management. Sims is definitely management, but less like hmm. Like infrastructure. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, got, we probably need more cola trains, yeah. More uh, fizzy drink trains. And then this is gonna start backing up pretty soon, probably. Let's take a look at, let's see, any stations we haven't transported. This is actually, this bubble factory we've got, so there's only one bubble generator that we aren't serving right now, and this one's right next to the, right next to the place, so it's not really worth serving. When I first saw OpenTTDA, I wasn't very interested in it, but I watched a couple of your vids and was hooked. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Thanks, XD Boxer. Man, I love to play the game with some friends, but they never played the game and keep saying it looked old. Yeah. Well, it is. Definitely is, yeah. Also, like, it's... I guess it's good because it's the only game I can actually stream from this laptop. TTD is pretty much a signal simulator. Yeah. Yeah like undead I can play this game on a potato yeah I'm playing it on a potato and streaming it and you just have a integrated or like a like a pretty low-end graphics card on this laptop I don't actually know what it is All right, let's also check the cola so yeah this is the only one we haven't transported from and then we're good to go in terms of all of the fizzy industries, fizzy drink industries that I care about. Maybe I should move chat closer to my field of view so we don't have to stop. There we go. Let's move this back a little bit. what's happening with coop servers I want to get them like they're down right now due to uh, not having enough time and people to work on them but I want to get them up after school ends next year after classes end Alright, I'll exit the stream for now, but glad to see you again. Happy holidays and a new year. Happy holidays and happy new year to you too. See you later. And we use the smart signals. Yeah, the path-based signals. It's uh, these ones here. It's definitely a fine way to play. They do a lot by themselves. So yeah, you can just use path signals if you're starting out or if you just don't want to bother with block signals. I started playing this game in 8th grade. Do you have to do math to figure out? Or I can... How old are 8th graders? 13 or 14? Okay. <laughs> so I guess I've been playing this game for... Maybe 9 years now. Alright, let's check... I guess you can figure out my age from that. Uh, so yeah, do the math. Let's check our stations. By lowest cargo rating. Yeah, so our cola pickup, definitely our fizzy drink pickup. Have a few more trains, that's gonna jam up when we run out of cargo, but it's fine for now. This one, just add another train, I guess, but it's good that even the lowest served st 
station is only still has a train at it. Check the rest. Good. Yeah, looks good. <clears throat> Should we serve this one? It does have a lot of bubbles. This game is still the most approachable yet most complex one in the genre. Yeah, it's... I think, um... Just some of the game mechanics are really unintuitive, like the fact that you have to transport cargo farther. The farther you transport cargo, the more you get paid, which is not logical, really. So that really throws people off, I think. Stuff like that. And just the fact that they're just industries randomly placed across the map. You get used to it, but that is a weird thing. Hide stations. Using the transfer is fun sometimes, at least for aesthetically pleasing variation and cool looking system. I'm not sure if you mean feeder stations or just like short lines to boost cargo production. Do you think this is better than City Skylines? I have not properly played City Skylines. Here it's a good game, but I just want, I, I like the scale. I feel like City Skylines, I don't know, I just want to make cities that are absolutely massive. I'm not sure how well City Skylines handles that right now. I know there's limits on the number of like entities you can have. I've not played Railroad Tycoon 2, unfortunately. There's a lot of games I haven't played. I've only played a couple games. Okay, not, not a couple games, but like maybe a dozen games. It always throws me off that a couple technically means two. So right now I'm upgrading the drop-off since it's sort of getting jammed up, or it was a while ago, but now it's not, so seems silly, but... Okay, now the trains are taking this new row row exit. When I, when I say transfer, I mean train stopping in a main station, a massive city, unloads, trucks pick it up. Ah, so it's like a reverse feeder. Yeah. That's, um, d I know that's a more realistic way to play. Is it extremely efficient? Eh, it is pleasing to look at. <laughs> yeah, not sure how efficient that sounds. It sounds inefficient. But I guess you also avoid destroying a city. Transferring is good when you transfer big stations and transfer the goods a long distance. Yeah, so a feeder. Um, the wiki is a good place to start learning in-depth mechanics. Let's see, did I miss? Where did you get your deep knowledge of how the game works? I've been playing a long time and the wiki has some good information, OpenTTD Coop wiki as well. And also some, I guess, word of, or I guess like communal knowledge from OpenTTD Coop, which is kind of dead right now, so unfortunately that's not that easy to get information from. But I'm trying to put all that knowledge into my videos. Do you got the original CD? No, I've never bought the game. I've never bought Transportation Tycoon. <laughs> Think you need a quantum computer if you build with the complication you do, but in Skylines. <laughs> yeah. Someday I want to, like, program a game, like, make a game. 
city simulator game, but just one that works on a massive scale. It'd be awesome. It's sort of my, like, dream. Yeah. Creating stuff is fun. So this pickup could have another train, but it doesn't need to go to this station so we can get rid of this track. Is it just me or the bridge is totally transparent? It is not just you. I have transparent bridges turned on and now they aren't transparent. Yeah. So the shortcut for this is X. And if you do control X, you can see which ones I have locked. You can control click to lock them. Or you can just use this menu over here. Yeah, just so we can see signals and stuff. Okay, so this can handle a few more trains now, so we're good there. And I guess it's time to start another cargo. So we have bubbles, we got all the ones we want, cola, we got all of them. Still need more trains at this pickup station. Just spam a bunch. So what chain should we do next? We get to the display chain, houses. When I play the game, I try to combine efficiency with just fun and visual look. Yeah. I sort of neglect the aesthetics a little bit, but I try to make things look sort of nice without compromising efficiency, so I definitely play for efficiency first. So we're gonna do toys or candy. Do it based on like company value, operating profits are looking good. Let's do it on based on payment rates, candy, or Toys. Ah, pretty similar. I'll just do candy, I guess. So I put the um, fizzy drink in this corner. I don't know. Found a candy factory somewhere. Toy shop. There's only one candy factory. I guess we should serve it then. Plastic, batteries. Not in a good spot. Not a lot of room. So, uh, candy will be represented by coal. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I agree that the roads are a little unfortunate. There's um, let me show you something though. You can go, you can go pretty wild with roads. Let's see. Here, there's another Candyland game. Let's, uh, gosh, please don't make me look at the trees. There. So we have a, uh, a road vehicle game with uh, 2,300 vehicles. So we got like a highway <laughs> in a big loop. This is an old game from like years and years ago. But I mean, it, I guess you, it's sort of fun to play, play a game like this where it's a really small map 
and you just use road vehicles. And there's also some funky stuff with like a self-regulating thing here. There's some interesting road vehicle mechanics that I want to make a video about at some point, but... The problem, like, the thing with roads is that... When you have a turn, the vehicles slow down. So if I, like, get rid of this road here... Like, when we see this, this platoon of cars hit this curve, it'll just slow down. Like you'll see, they all take time to turn, and now there's a huge traffic jam building up here. But, what you can do... Yeah, breakdowns are off also. Is, like, double up your turns. Sort of like you double up bridges with trains. You double up your turns. And you also put, a, put like, a, a station there. And it tricks tricks the pathfinding because when the when when there's a road vehicle in the station um, it tells other road vehicles want to go to the other station even though they're just they're not actually stopping they're just passing through so it sort of gets them to alternate I don't know if the game mechanics have changed a little bit though since we've played this but it does help a little bit you can see now there's two turns for tr for uh, vehicles to slow down at but yeah it's a fun map those signs. How fast are they going? I think there's just like 100 or 80 kilometers per hour. <clears throat> it might only happen if two vehicles have different speeds. If two vehicles have different speeds on a one-way road, I think they can pass. But I think all the vehicles in that game are the same speed, so they don't really need to pass each other. The reason we use one-way roads, I guess, is just for consistency or like for building up a I don't know I'm not sure two-way roads I'm not that familiar with how road vehicles work over <laughs> and to fit in another station here let's actually rename this You know, 300 vehicles is not that hard to reach pretty quickly. Sugar, toffee, and cotton candy. Let's go over here. There were two toffee places next to each other. I like that. Yeah, road vehicles are really iffy with stations. It's kind of annoying to get them to distribute properly. Yeah, I think the best way I remember doing stations was just have a ton of one tile platforms that are all connected in like a mesh of roads. 
How do you solve negative income? You have to transport more cargo. <laughs> and you have to transport it a long distance, which is the unintuitive thing. And you can also just use airplanes and move passengers across the map, and that's easy. Okay, so let's full load on Toffee here and unload at the candy factory so it won't die. And refit to Toffee. Yeah, station spread, I definitely use that a lot for road vehicle stations. Are we doing on? Cargo rating. Hentberg, what is? Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Look at this. Why are there fizzy drinks here? Station stopped accepting fizzy drinks. Really? Okay, so we need to... Speaking of split stations... We have to make sure we can accept... Fizzy drinks. So let's connect this to Hentberg. Now this will accept fizzy drinks, but they're still stuck at the station, so we need to do something about that. So we got a train to just do nothing. Not a lot of screen space. So refit to fizzy drinks. And we just let this train <laughs> make a bunch of money. <clears throat> hi from, hi, hi to Brazil. Hey, Foxy. Okay, I need you to go unload. Okay. Get a lot of negative income from transporting passengers in asymmetric. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. I haven't used cargo disc. <laughs> okay, I'll just keep an eye on that train. I wonder if there's a better way. So that probably hurt our income for that month or two. Connect up. I guess let's find some... Cotton candy that has high... Sort by production. Okay. There's a few over here. I wonder how I want to connect that one up. These two are good. Maybe we come around from the top. This station, this is going to be a mess here. <laughs> this is going to be pain. So actually, yeah, let's just go to this one. This is easy. I don't know about cargo disc, but transferring stuff for in in a normal situation it won't ever make you the same money or it, it'll always cost you more just because you have to pay for multiple trains because um, the the actual payment is calculated from the, the source station to the destination station and any intermediate stations are actually just ignored
Oh, this train's still going. Almost done. This train's done now. Lug do you do gaming locomotion? I have not, no. Cotton candy. Full load here. Clone that train and go up and go. has train spaghetti. Well, we have train spaghetti here, definitely, at least. <laughs> this is not signaled correctly. I mean, the, the benefit of transferring is you can do, like, a feeder network, and it's good for station rating, and also for larger trains. Alright, let's keep going. We can just use this one. here. I guess we could do it over here. Good. <clears throat> Cotton candy will clone one of these trains. How long have we been going for? Hour and twenty six minutes. Definitely 
just play open TDD for hours. Thanks for tuning in, Wobble. <sighs> yeah, and thanks for the nice words. Happy New Year. Can you bri build bridges over diagonal tracks? Yeah, you can always build bridges over diagonal tracks. That's just uh, the normal game as far as I know. Maybe give a certain modifier to the transfer based on the vehicle used. Yeah, I guess a transfer you do get, you, like in some ways with like the nuts train set, since there's so many different trains, you sort of get some benefit in terms of um, picking which trains you get to use in certain situations, but I guess that's not a big effect. No train waiting here. And now we need to pick up some candy from this factory, except this is a huge mess. We have to decide where to deliver it. I guess Windingworth or down here somewhere. Maybe down here. There's nothing here yet. So yeah, just towns accept candy. Okay. At that point we need an actual three-way hub here, so maybe it's time to do that. Let's do it. Backbone Hub 1. What am I seeing here? There's just a lot of stuff. Let's just make it really big and put the uh, factories in the middle. Rusty. Let's keep things simple. Could definitely mess around with transfer mechanics a lot. Could be interesting. I guess let's just have. Hmm. What am I doing here?
and then we'll have another one. Oh, that doesn't work. It's too close to the water. Let's, I guess, reroute some of these tracks first. guy's taking that track already, even though I don't know where he's trying to go. I guess since the signal is backwards for a second. Just try and fit this in somehow. Definitely rusty <laughs> building hubs. This is not pretty. I don't know why I'm making this so complicated. Let's just start over. I guess maybe I'll just move all these tracks out of the way temporarily. This is one waiting bay here, this is a waiting bay here, and then this is a waiting bay here. That's good. way gets priority. Wait, this does not need to be this long. That's probably good. Enough. 
actually guess these tracks are coming from over here. So we can adjust for that. One, two, three, puts us right there. Doesn't quite fit. Does it? Doesn't quite fit. I guess move this back a tile. Three tiles there. Path signal, and then three tiles to right here. So that works. Alright. Oh, there's more comments I didn't see. I need to understand signals a bit better at one point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to remake my uh, signal tutorial video since it's so old and audio quality is terrible and honestly I could have pasted a bit better. Soon, hopefully, I'll do that. Okay, so we have two tracks coming from the north, two tracks coming from the south now. Just have to figure out how to squish them through. So I guess we'll probably use the existing tracks for that. And I guess we might as well remove this track, except it's still connected to this station here. Imagine on a huge map transfer feeders in both ends of the map to connect all the goods in one spot, and then hook up long tracks between north and south hubs. Yeah, I've done I've done maps where I just have like one cargo, um, which I guess is different, but just have a ton of feeders for that one cargo and super long trains going all the way across the map. It's a good way of making money, I guess. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <clears throat> Alright. So let's move this track to somewhere else. Maybe over here. One of them developed a city on the other side of the map. Uh -huh. Huge passenger line, yeah. definitely do a lot. Still doesn't make sense to me why OpenTDB has no volume sliders. It does have two volume sliders, but not separate for all the other little sounds. place. I want to build this left turn in here, but we got to move this track first, so let's just build that first. Nice flat spot here for a merger. We can do that or take advantage of the train a little. Perhaps. Do I want to do this? 
Hi Gustavo, how's it going? Need to s make things simpler. Making things too complicated. Is that long enough? It's so impressive watching you build the systems. I legit only spam one way path signals and hope nothing crashes. <laughs> One way pass signals work, like, um, like yeah, it's perfectly valid to just use one way pass signals if you don't want to deal with block signals. <clears throat> and yeah, I originally, when I originally started out playing, that's what I did. But yeah, it is good to learn the block signals, even though, I mean, there's only a few situations where they're better than path signals and for things like prios and overflows so sort of intermediate advanced stuff probably making these prios too long for three tile trains but oh well Okay, that's good. Cool. And then... We'll connect this up. Over here. How many trees am I knocking over? Not too many. But we do have to get to this weird cross over here. Aerial Pro. Have a good lunch or meal. Not sure where people are from. Could be any meal. <laughs> I haven't I haven't crashed a train in the Let's Play yet, so I'm pretty happy with that. We do crash trains, it happens. It happens to everyone. left turn down. We'll get around this curve here. Hmm. 
Hmm, where should we go? This is gonna be the biggest tub ever, just since it's so spread out. Just cause there's tracks in the way already. I only had my first train crash yesterday. Wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I do not play JGR at all. I haven't actually ever tried it, Gustavo, but it is interesting. I think it definitely has some fun features. Jamie said, I love OpenTDD. I played it as a kid, but never got to grips with it properly, then started playing again as an adult watching you. It's really cool to hear, thanks. this very excessive left turn. So I think that's all. Where's the right turn? There is no right turn, because that's what we're trying to build. So we'll get rid of these. Except if you need to get to over here. So connect this up. Sees open TDD Toyland goes into shock, yeah. It's good to give open our uh, Toyland some love once in a while, you know? But not with the uh, default op open GFX textures on the landscape. Can't handle those. And then this can just connect directly to here. as well redirect this all right juicy have uh, enjoy those donuts <laughs> let's redirect these tracks around don't like all these bumps here going fine with operating profit. Set staying flat since we're building a bunch of stuff instead of new trains. Okay, and then we can get rid of this track. Not that one. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we can make this left turn. Supposedly. We have a ton of space, it shouldn't be that difficult. Yeah, I could just terraform everything. But I like uh, dealing with the terrain. I guess this is going to be like a mini sideline hub. Since I'm not using proper uh, separation of the main line and sidelines for this station. It's kind of not actually enough room here. <laughs> Let's see. Come look at the new GRF space cost mod for expensive terraforming. Cheaper. I have 30% profit for um, passenger and mail. And then these are the other things. Nuts train set, road hog, just the ISR chips, city stations, and Japan stations. And I guess American road replacement set? Which I'm not sure actually that I want that here. What do our roads look? Let me see the default. Uh, Because bricks, the bricks base set should have some roads, I think. So we probably use those ones. Now these are the, um, okay, there we go. This is the bricks base set. So I mean, it's sort of weird. Um, bridges, it's a, it's a 32 bit per pixel, like, HD sort of pack. But I'm sort of just using it just because I don't like the default Toyland texture. It's too painful to look at. Yeah. If you're asking why they're transparent, that is an option. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's the uh, brick space set. B R I X X. <laughs> You're upset about the textures. this left turn to go. So this left turn's here, this right turn here, so left turn like this, and then the straight track just over, I guess.
do properly doubled up bridges. tunnels enough. Shame. There's a tunnel here. Temporarily. is a train and why do people keep running them on your mom? I'm not sure I can help you with that. doing lowest cargo rating over here I guess we can buy another train here we can also buy Build statue of company owner. Oh, <laughs> so that'll give a boost to our station rating, but look at the frog. <laughs> Are there any more tutorial videos coming to your channel? Yeah, there's, there's lots more tutorials planned. Just have to actually make them, which is easier said than done. I guess we can build this split here. Make sure trains don't get lost. Doesn't quite fit. <laughs> I would get more views if I called them choo choo tutorials. battery places in the way. So I might just move everything over a tile. Can't you make a tunnel? Uh, for the batteries, yeah, but I'd have to do two of them because I want to double up my tunnels to make sure trains, or they can have full throughput for trains. That's good. Can move this up a tile. <laughs> yep, curse land.
Huh. I don't know if I was muted just then. Who knows? I tried. The longest trains I've had, I think, were... How long were the trains in that one video? Let me see. My giant merger video. I do like long trains, but since this is such a small map and I'm just streaming, um, short trains are easier to build with, generally. He's like 32 tile long? Or 24? 36. So 36 is the longest I've done. Get this split here working. Hey man, I started to watch your channel a week ago and I was wondering where you're from. I am in California. And I guess I'm from California pretty much. California, USA. A lot of my viewers are European, which is pretty cool. Probably because we actually have decent trains over there. Two 3.5 tile with multiple unit and single engine 3 tile. You know, definitely have to go, if you have longer than like 5 tiles then it's good to have multiple units, at least in the Nuts train set. I remember, I believe in the original OpenTTD you couldn't have multiple units. Though actually Nuts has some trains that are super strong. So you can actually just use one engine for a bunch of I don't see it there you can just use one engine for a bunch of cars but they're really slow what's better using train for feeder or road vehicles uh, and some control station shenanigans trains will get better station rating so road vehicles it seems like it'd be a good use for road vehicles but in terms of actual like game mechanics trains are better even for really short feeders I guess we'll just put the merger right here. If we can fit it in. Yeah, I want I've never I've never really messed with distributing the power of multiple units across across a train. I don't know what effect it has. I haven't actually like tested it or looked it up or anything. I wonder. Hello Rich. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, yeah. Hello to Germany. It's cool to see everyone.
build the truck station as far as possible from the industry, industry and then use control to build a transfer station directly adjacent to it. Yeah, sort of cheating using station spread, but I do that too sometimes. Sometimes you actually just need a really huge station. It's the Rona. <clears throat> and just my throat's too dry. Let me fill up my water bottle. really tight merge right next to the uh, split. It's okay. What is going on here? This one needs to connect on this side. The two tile curve there. <clears throat> I'm just gonna leave it and mark it. Oh, I have signs off, do I? have broken the game. Wonder if messing with the new GRFs too much broke signs somehow. Do I have to press OK? No? No, I guess I just don't have signs. Another transparent or something.
<laughs> Semaphores on maglev. It's pretty good. I don't actually have the semaphores on this set. I have these alternate high visibility signals. Reload the save. Good idea. fine. Thanks Builder Q. I'm glad you and are or you enjoy the series. I will get back to it soon hopefully. I'm trying to build a uh, I'm trying to build a new PC in the last few last week or so, but there's like a there's a GPU shortage and a CPU shortage, and just everything everything shortage. So I want to edit my videos on something a little more powerful than this laptop at least, and I guess probably record them on something more powerful as well. This river's in the way. Did not plan this out very well. Hmm. Could just go right through it. <laughs> yeah, we could do 8K open TTD videos. Alright, I'm gonna demolish the river. I'm doing it. Oh, it goes into a culvert underneath, it's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the wiki, or like OpenTTD Coop wiki, that's not all that well explained. Um, and it's just hard to digest in text form. So I'm trying to convert everything to videos eventually, over time. <laughs> 25, 6, 256,000. I wish OpenTTD supported that. There might be patches. Okay, so this is looking like a sideline hub right here. But... It's kind of painful <laughs> right now. I don't want to deal with it right now. Or I guess, wait, the track just goes that way, doesn't it? Alright, here we go. It's gonna be the most beautiful track ever. We didn't have it drop down after going over the bridge instead of having it go down and then up and then down. I have a... I'm not sure if this is what you're talking about, but I have base cost mods set so water is really expensive to demolish and technically building a bridge over the water demolishes the water so you can see this costs a million pounds when a normal bridge costs 400 pounds it's my hk pick a th three or four wagon unit i'm not sure what hk pick means but this current map is i'm using three tile Trains. Just flatten this. And we'll just have this temporary jank here. Honda car.
because that was Dutch. Sorry. <laughs> Do not speak that. Okay. So that's jank, but that's okay. We just need to get this connected over here. That's at a different height, is it? That's not gonna work. Lower everything. We can put a little zig in the track so we don't have to hit that there. Sure. The do you mean like the um, banner backgrounds on my YouTube channel? Wait, these need to be doubled. I forgot. Pretty cramped in here, even though I supposedly gave myself a lot of room. I'm actually, gonna just terraform this. Oh, the tunnel. left turns. That's always the tricky part and I didn't really plan it out much in this hub. Alright. That's good, I think. I think we have all the connections now. Even if we're missing some splits. Got the three merges together. Excuse me. All right, what were we doing originally? <laughs> I think I wanted to wanted to start delivering candy. Yeah, the um... The one from my... I don't... I don't know if, if you're talking about the banner image. But let's take a quick look at that. This is one, like, three... 33? 330? Ah. 332. Who's 332? Yeah, this one. This is the banner image on my channel. We have... BR-182 electric. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but... 
Now we know. <laughs> the in the current map, these are three tile long trains. And I don't know. It's it's the nuts train set, so they're not really real trains or anything. Yeah, and I can save I uh, share the save game after. waiting here. So let's pick up some candy somehow. Let's make, let's make this go around so we have some more space. I guess we can just do a terminus station. Make an actual big station. I don't know if we actually need it at this point. Probably not. challenges have you thought about for added challenge in open TDD? Making stuff cost more is one way to challenge yourself, but a bit boring. Yeah, I agree that it doesn't actually do that much. Um, with base cost mod, I mean, you still make lots of money perfectly easily. Um, I think the best challenge is like uh, industry sets, so like um, ECS or FERS are good. I think the hardest one is Yeti. Yeti, because you have to you have to distribute the um, cargo from. You sort of have to evenly divide the divide the uh, cargo. Okay, I see. There's a viewer of the stream that has the name Sherilyn Matthews and has a train profile picture. I understand now. I see. <laughs> Forgot about all the people. I can actually see the participants. Yeah, I see there's only, like, it, it says, like, 60 people are watching, but I only see four people in the participants list, so I don't know if that just means everyone else isn't logged in or is private or something, but it's interesting. this across. I guess a tunnel is fine. <clears throat> Have you played the UK map Master Hellish has a challenge on? I considered, I saw, I saw the challenge and I considered trying it but um, I was don't have didn't have that much free time at the at the moment at that time. Yeah, Yeti's pretty hard. I'm gonna make at some point a video about how to how to play Yeti properly without it being terrible. Okay, so there's the pickup. We're gonna drop off candy to one of these three towns. I guess they all accept it.
probably didn't need four platforms, but I guess we can do that here as well. or four cars. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going on? <laughs> Where do you live, the shoe? Are you running the game with any other patches except EOL? Um, <clears throat> no, I'm not, I'm not running any patches or anything, and also, yeah. Yeah, rail, two way, first red, two way, EOL? Yeah, this isn't like a patch or anything, this is just a game setting. Like, it's, it's basically the same as like these advanced settings, but it's just one that isn't listed on the menu. Setting is useful for overflows, so it's, I mean, it's it's basically only useful for really advanced things. But I guess like here, I have these two-way signals, which seems kind of weird, but um, with that setting on, it means if a train is right here, the train is right here, it'll force the other train to go the other way instead of just wait, waiting for the other train to move potentially, though in this situation, they all go to the same place, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it makes the logic voodoo work. That is basically it. So, crazy stuff, basically. I'm gonna get this track over. I need to get up a level. <laughs> Probably didn't need four, four platforms for a drop station anyway. Huh. Okay. Where can I fit in a depot? So we're gonna pick up. here and unload all here you know I mean terrain is what what adds an extra challenge sometimes so yeah terrain can be a pain but I try to not terraform it too much
Hmm. How's this doing over here? We could upgrade this station to a row row. I'm not running furs right now. They're playing on Toyland. Um, if that's what you're asking, I'm not sure. Unavoiding my space for no reason. Yeah, the, the 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 terrain is a different new GRF, so because Toyland's too painful. <laughs> I'm using the Bricks B R I X. I guess it's only one X um, terrain set from B four five three hundred or thousand. So it is just gray and 32 bits per pixel, high definition. It's a little bit controversial, it seems. Some people don't like the way the roads look, I guess. At least that's what it seems like currently. This mine could use another train or two. Okay, and how's toys doing? Candy. Need a few more trains there. Should be increasing profit slowly. <clears throat> yeah, default toy land is too painful. I think. What does the original Open TTD toy or uh, Transportation Tycoon Toyland look like? I think it. I think the original, like original, original, looks a little nicer. Eh, maybe not. Guess we can fix the split here. Did you ever finish a map? Like connect everything? Yeah. I do do that, but it takes a lot of time and I haven't actually done that in a video.
Yeah, Mars. I remember that. I haven't thought about that in a long time, but the Mars Toyland is pretty good. And I guess this set doesn't actually change the rivers, so that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Alright, what industry should we connect next? This toffee quarry? Down there? We could build a little sideline hub here. I guess we should actually do this split though. Rick's does have trees, except they look like bolts. I'm not sure if this is just Toyland. I think, I think it's not. I think it always is just bolts and stuff. <laughs> Which is interesting. We just have all these bolts. Oh, that looked like they, cr they were going to crash for a moment. But it's just the graphics. Yeah, maybe... I, I'm not sure if Toyland was in the original game, actually. It seems like people are disagreeing with that, or... Yeah, I've never owned the original game, so I don't really know. I was going to build a sideline hub over here. Okay, DPU doesn't do anything. It's too bad. Could be an interesting mechanic. I don't actually have enough room for four trucks like this. Save files on Google Drive or Mega. Yeah, I'll I'll share them after I finish. I'll probably stop at at uh, in 15 minutes at the hour. It'll have been three hours, which is pretty long.
We could have this go around on the outside probably, that might be better. And I just spent a bunch of work rearranging the tracks. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stream more in the future. I think this is pretty good. This is pretty fun for everyone. I guess part of the reason that I have been bad at making videos is because it takes me a lot of effort to edit them. But once, once I get a new PC, however long that takes, it'll be easier to edit them, edit videos also, so I guess I'll probably stream more for now, at least, because I actually can. chat function helps sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to get donations, but I don't actually need need donations or anything, so, to survive, you know, so, I feel bad about taking them. Style is different. It's, I don't know, streaming is sort of easier for me right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do both. Got a decent number of trains going. How many? 59, okay, that's actually not that many. <laughs> your grade set really low for like um, the slope I don't know I don't know what the default is defaults three I just have it at the default but I have realistic so it doesn't slow down trains realistic acceleration Still doing all right? Yeah. Let's build a sideline hub here. This is a 256 by 256 map, so pretty small. Not actually enough room. Four. 
And I picked a small map just because I figured I got a decent amount done in a couple hour stream, a few hour stream. I'm just sort of starting to build sideline hubs and backbone hubs now. This does not need to be two tracks here. everything forward a tile like that better two tracks in here. Just for the merge. And whatever. It's kind of a mess. frustrating watching me do this right now because I'm pretty out of practice. Hey Greater and Angela Anglia, train, train spotter, how's it going? <laughs> I know there's some um, Russian guys who stream a lot, but I don't speak Russian, unfortunately. I 
All right, good enough. Not very pretty. North Amer American Rail set. NARS. I'm sort of, I sort of only do nuts. I, I get set in my ways pretty easily. But yeah, I should try more things. Okay, there is questionable sideline hub. Let's get some cotton candy moving first, since I don't want this to die. Kind of have a hill here. Go up a little bit more gradually than that. cul-de-sac kind of thing. Let's get the exit going. Can I make this any less steep? I guess this is the downhill side, so just gotta use your brakes. Sure. Okay. Let's move this to the other side.
Looks like it's almost time to stop, <laughs> to end the stream. I want to finish this sideline hub area first. Get these other two. Toffee. Sugar. Okay. Sugar can be paper. I guess the cargo is not going to show up though, so it doesn't really matter. Sugar. And clone those. All right. <clears throat> My signs still aren't working, I assume. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. But I guess that's going to be going to be it for today for this stream. Um, it's really really cool seeing everyone. I didn't expect to get this many people, even though, yeah. Wait, what just happened with chat? Hmm, I don't know, my, I think it wasn't loading the last, like, dozen messages. It's interesting. Let me see if there's anything I missed here. this discord picture I guess this is a new GRF list yeah cool have you tried other games like OpenTDD I've seen a few newer games like Rise of Industry I've played like SimCity 4 which is old but I've also played like Factorio um, which is new ish I guess that's the newest newest game in a sort of OpenTDD style and 
Thanks everyone for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. <clears throat> yep, happy new year. Have a nice holiday. We'll see you later.